We all set? Everybody ready? Judy and Tony, you go ahead and sit down right up there, okay? And then Tony can sit down. Okay. This is Judy Juntemann from Atlantic Mine, Michigan. And she is our 14th Mega Millions winner. You can sit down because I'll just go on for a minute and we'll get you up to answer some questions. Um, this is the largest single lottery prize was 337 million. This one is 19 million. It's 15 in terms of the jackpot amount to one in Michigan. It was sold at Festival Foods in Houghton, Michigan. Festival Foods will receive a bonus of $50,000 for selling the winning ticket. Uh, Ms. Juntanen has elected the cash option, which is $13,899,049, from which taxes will be taken. <coughs> Final payment is nine million eight hundred and thirty three thousand five hundred and seventy eight dollars the last uh, jackpot prior to Ms. Jutman's win was eighty nine million in New Jersey on January 25th uh, so I give you uh, our recent most recent millionaire from Atlantic Mine Michigan Judy and Judy. Give me this big check. Don't try to cash this. <laughs> yeah, let's go out here. Tony, you can hold this up. Okay. Step out here a little bit, Scott. So you can see when we get in here. There you go. Thank you. Real much keep it just to try to cash. Everyone, you're gonna get a new car, aren't you? <laughs> Four wheel for. Okay. 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 Cool. Everybody good? Everybody good to me? Everybody ready? All right. Anybody have any questions for Judy? Come on up here. Stick behind the microphone so we can hear you. <laughs> What's it like to be a lottery winner? Pretty good. <laughs> Very uh, nice. Yeah, so talk about what, how did you find out you won and what went through your mind? Well, my granddaughter called me because she knew the store that I buy them at, and uh, she heard it on the radio that that store had the winning ticket. She called me, and that's how I found out at 7 in the morning after the night, through the night before. What do you do when you first find out? I mean, do, you, do you sit there and stare at the ticket for a few minutes? And then, I mean, what, what, what sorts of things? Well, run? you make sure you have the ticket first. <laughs> you go and you look for it, and then you feel pretty good. Yeah. Who did you call first? I called uh, my son, my daughter, and uh, my grandson. And what is the first thing you're going to do? I haven't really decided yet. I have to think about it. Get a car. <laughs> I need that. What kind of car? <laughs> I don't know. Four-wheel drive. <laughs> I live up in snow country. <laughs> My next question is, where is Atlantic Mine, Michigan? <laughs> well, it's about a ten-hour drive from here, way up in the Keweenaw Peninsula. Okay. Yes, up in the, on the, along Lake Superior. Cool. Are you a frequent? The home of Michigan Tech. A lot of people know <laughs> yeah. where that is. <laughs> Are you a frequent lottery player, or was this just a one-time thing? Yes, I've, I've been buying uh, for, for several years, probably 20 years or so. <laughs> <laughs> How did you pick the, the numbers? Uh, I picked, just random, I picked them myself, not, not the computer pick. Did Have you, you heard all those, uh, you know, there's so many times people get these huge jackpots. Do you guys have a plan right now? Just because, it, it, you know, all the attention that comes from such a big jackpot, how do you kind of manage all that excitement? I have a big family. Big <laughs> family. <laughs> Four children. I have 16 grandchildren and 22 great-grandchildren. Uh, so uh, I have plans. Did you believe it at first? No. You were in disbelief. How long did it take I, you? I don't know if I still do. <laughs> <laughs> what have you guys, what's, if you don't mind telling us about your livelihood, how you, how you, your family makes a living? I'm retired. I, I lost my husband three years ago. He was a copper miner. And I'm retired from 
do as postal service. I was a contract mail carrier. And tell us the story, and I'm sorry I didn't hear it. What store was it? Festival Foods up in Bolton, Michigan. Just a small general oh, yeah. grocery store, hardware store. Would you mind telling us how old you are? I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> That's a one twelve question you get in trouble for. <laughs> I told you I had great grandchildren. <laughs> Usually we can get away with it because we're reporters. <laughs> and your hu husband was a cutlery miner, and his father yes. also worked. No, my it. father and my husband. Okay, your yes. father and your husband. Any other questions? Okay, I guess we're set. Just one quick question: Is there any connection with Ford Motor Company and all of this? So I don't know where we got that. Not outside. really. Ford used to have in Alberta. They had a, a plant there, and I, they said that first station wagon that Ford made that was made out of wood came from the from the wood that was produced up in that part of the country. But other than that, I don't know of any. Okay. How are you going to spoil all those grandchildren? Well, I've been doing a good job of that already. <laughs> <laughs> Have you gotten any requests yet or anything? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks for all of you coming. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you.